My name is Garrett Hunter and I am 34. I live in San Diego, California. I'm an electronics technician by day. I think most people who are watching this know me from working on Mega64 videos. I met the Mega64 guys at some point in my 20s. I worked nights at a grocery store as, as a night crew guy, uh, stocking like baby food and, and soda and stuff. And um, then during the day I worked at this like mall job and this kid showed me all these Mega 64 videos and then I was doing like makeup on myself for Halloween around that time. I'd done like two years of this really intense zombie makeup just for the hell of it. And then they saw it, um, I saw their videos, we kind of got in touch and then they had me start working on their stuff. The thing that got me interested in makeup was probably trauma movies that I was, for a period of time, pretty obsessed with. A lot of the DVDs, in fact, had like how-to uh, kind of instructions in the special features of like really basic, like homemade, ha you know, household material uh, effects that you can pull off and film for your videos. And then that kind of got me interested in me and my friends all made skate videos together um, that usually never got finished. It, we filmed a lot of stuff and then would watch it later that night while playing Nintendo 64 and eating pizza, but not a lot of it ever got like edited or even converted in anything other than like Super 8 tape. Um, coming up with ideas for Halloween, that's kind of like where it grew. And then from there, having guys that were actually making videos that they wanted this stuff in. It's like, well, now I don't have to do it just for some lame Halloween party that I'm going to go to for one night. Someone might actually see this because these guys are putting shit on the internet. A lot of the stuff that I make for video production or even costumes and stuff, I'll work on in the garage. And when I got this place, I remember really being excited for projects. Like I couldn't wait to get, uh, <laughs> I bought a motorcycle actually and tore it apart and was building a motorcycle in here. And then uh, lately it's been like a lot of tabletops that move around if I'm sewing or But lately, it's been taken over by this weapon wall. So some company hired me to make a set piece for their streaming set. And it's all just pegboard, video game, weapons. The, the biggest problem that I have now in my 30s is that balance of my recreational interests. Most of the time trying to keep a girlfriend uh, happy with the attention I'm giving to her. Doing regular work 40 hours a week, sometimes overtime, sometimes travel. And then yeah, definitely travel going to conventions with Mega64. Um, there were times where I was a lot more involved, uh, and then I've I've tried as best as I can, and that I think the weakest link I have is trying that balance. Because there'll be months that go by where I don't go into the living room and play a video game, other than fulfilling you know my weekly show where I'm sitting on that webcam playing a video game, but. Uh, there's times where I definitely am not paying enough attention to my girlfriend or my cat or like, you know, it's, it's, that's now kind of the, the main thing is the balance of, am I happy? Am I healthy? Making the routine 
not so routine because you know work all day it's easy to come it's easy for me to come home and then work all afternoon and then work on into the night and then like get this high off of getting all this shit done but then I'm letting a lot of other stuff slip so that balance is, is a constant struggle. Yeah. The best advice I can give is the advice I got from, you know, reading and hearing stuff uh, from guys like Kevin Smith and Quentin Tarantino that said, like, just go out and make your thing. And then seeing skate videos that me and my friends all watched that were just done with their you know basic camcorder fisheye lens like some of us could kind of scrap that stuff together and start doing this and we kind of realized like yeah if you just kind of go out there and do it and if you guys are having fun doing it and it gives you a purpose to go out and do something you will feel fulfilled and if you get that feeling go out and do it again the next day and then eventually you'll find yourself 15 years down the road still doing it and maybe you're good enough at it that people are going to be willing to who knows I mean the sky's the limit but getting out there and, and constructing the thing that is driving you whether it be out of wood and steel or you know ones and zeros I just say that you gotta do it to enjoy it and not look for any kind of compensation because that's the real struggle is like, it doesn't come for a long time, I've found. It does for some and it's all kind of a roll of the dice, so I guess that's it.